Use NGF to give feedback on the user whether or not the widget is selected. So let's do that. So let's go back to those widgets. And I believe it's going to be in the widgets list component. So we want to give some type of feedback when these things are selected. So what we can do is we'll just add an ng if here. We can say, let's just do something very trivial. Let's just add, well, I guess that's what the master detail does. We could say, hmm, what did everybody else do? Highlighted the background. Mouse center, highlight background, mouse out. Well, the highlight directive. Well, that's, I'm saying for the ng if. Then I, so if you don't have anything selected, don't show the right side. Add span. Okay, let's do that. That sounds cool. Okay, so if nothing selected in the master detail view, then you didn't show anything, like here. Or where is it at? Right here. There we go. So if nothing selected here, then you didn't show anything right here on the right. Yeah, because the background's gray and the card was white. Gotcha. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's stay in the list. Let's do something in here. So what we can do is when you click on, when you select an, uh, a widget, what we can do is let's look in here. We could ng if actually you no. Know, let's come back to that one. I'm like drawing a blank. Let's do the other one first. That one's just r too trivial. Let's create a custom directive that modifies the style. This one's more fun. So let's make another directive that, like, we can do here. We can have some fun with this. Let's just highlight the card a different color, change the text, do some stuff like that when you click on the directive so we know it's actually the active one. Right now it's kind of plain. We don't know which one is clicked. So let's do that. We'll do it on mouse over and also when it's, when it's active. So let's start with the mouse over one. Let's just add a new file here, and we'll call it... Um, on uh, dang I'm so bad with names on on select on uh, now I don't put colored again highlight it there we go okay highlight so make another called highlight and we'll do the, this thing again There we go. Our selector will be highlight. And then what we'll do is we'll export the class highlight. There we go. And we also need element ref. And we'll inject that into our constructor. So we have that. And then we only want this to happen on mouse enter, so we'll have our host here. just say um, init highlight. We'll go ahead and make that method. Cool. And all this is going to do change the background color to green or C green. I didn't make that up. That's a CSS color. <laughs> okay. Um, my wife is freaking out. Oh, native event, native element, that style. There we go. Uh, the text will probably look bad, so we'll change the text to 
Let's just do this. So we got that. Now we need to wire it up to our component so it can use it. So what we have to do is go into the, let's add them to the, oh yeah, the widget list. That's what we're doing, yeah. So we'll add them to the widget list, but we only want them on the individual widgets. So we'll place them here on the component. We'll say directives. And it's called highlighter or highlight imports high lights from highlight. And it's not liking me. Sometimes I've noticed with adding, you have to save first. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I have to save it. Cool. So we got that, and now we have the widget for the widgets. And then what we'll do is we'll just place that here. So now we can just say highlight. And let's see what happens. Cool, so our highlight kind of works, but still green. So we need to go back and fix that. So what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll just do the inverse. And we'll call this something else now. highlight then we'll do this else oh, sublime shortcuts not working here let's do that else we'll do this Let's check it out. There we go. So it's highlighting. Still, that's not good enough. I would probably do something like this. Add some styles. It's let it ease in a little bit. It's like hurting my eyes when it's transitioning. What is this? This is a widget card. Little transition never hurt anybody. There we go. Cool, much better. All right, so now we have a nice little highlight. Any questions on that? Actually, I did just notice one thing. It doesn't look like the text is changing, and that's because it's not propagating down, and that's fine. It's changing the, the style, but the text isn't changing because of the hierarchy of the HTML, whereas the text is here and this, this, the color's being set here, so. But that's fine. So any questions on that? No? Why didn't that break? 